Eternal life is a free gift from God. Jesus died for you at Calvary. He is the way, the truth, the life, the door. If you believe in him, you shall be saved. Cause God's free gift to you is eternal life through Jesus Christ the Lord. Let me tell you about the priest we're going to invite. Uh, I've got to know her through the Healing Church of God in Christ. And I've listened to her a couple of times on, her, on the Friday Bible study. And then I heard her say a few words um, when I was the guest preacher for the Holston Assembly a couple of weeks ago. And I thought to myself, I must have this woman come and speak to us today. And it is a great privilege to have with us Minister Mel Lynch. I'm going to ask Pastor Johnson to say to, to pray for the preacher. Amen. Father, we are gracious and we thank you for such a privilege that you've given to us that we can meet, Lord, on this platform. It's to your praise, it's to your glory. And even now, Lord, as your servant comes forward to minister your truth, we pray for the anointing, we pray for the utterance, and we pray, Lord, that our hearts will be open and receptive to your words. We will not just be hearers, Lord, but we will be doers also in accordance to your divine will. And so, Lord, we just place her into your hands as you use her to your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Can we just unmute yourselves and give a hand clap for, for, for Minister Mel Lynch. And as soon as you finish clapping, please mute yourself again so that we can hear what he said clearly. God bless you. Mel Lynch, it's over to you. God bless you. Uh, God bless you. God bless you, sir. God bless you, Pastor McKivitt. Praise God. Um, I thank you for the invitation. Praise God. Um, and I thank you for entrusting me on this platform. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. I just want to give honor to the Holy Spirit first and foremost in our midst. Truly, the Lord is here. Praise God. And I just greet the pastors and ministers online and the family of God in the precious name of Jesus, Pastor Duroc and your wife and my overseer who's there, um, Overseer Johnson, God bless you, sir. And Sister Johnson, Pastor Jeff, I can see you there and your wife, God bless you, if she's with you there. Praise God and all the family of God. Um, I'm going to go straight into it. Praise the name of Jesus. I had this song on my heart all week. I've been singing it. You are God from the beginning to the end. Mm -hmm. There's no place for argument. Mm -hmm. You are God all by yourself. You are God. I'm not going to sing it. <laughs> from beginning to the end. There's no place, no room. No cracks, no argument. It's not debatable. You, Lord, are God all by yourself. And I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You can unmute for just a moment and just praise God with me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you're able to, hallelujah. 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 
Hallelujah. And I would never praise God, come on a platform without praise God, giving God the glory and the honor for my mother. I think my mom's online, praise God, if she is. I give all God all the glory and honor for you. You're a blessing, mom. You're a blessing. Praise the name of Jesus. And so, okay, we're going to go to the book of Genesis. And the presence of the Lord is here. Praise the name of Jesus. The book of Genesis. And I'll just paraphrase from 24 with Abraham and the promise. And the man of God already, already touched on part of what I'm going to minister on. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm not a preacher, praise God, but I do like to share. I do like to share the word of God. So call it what you will, praise God. But I just ask that you just pray me up right now. Because sometimes when you minister the word of God, when you're in the place, praise the name of Jesus, that the actual word that you're ministering to others is being ministered to you. It can be a bit difficult, but by the glory of God, praise God, this word shall come forth in the name of Jesus. And so in the book of Genesis 24, praise the name of Jesus. Um, we have the son of Abraham, praise God, um, that is about to be made into union with his wife, Rebecca, bless the name of Jesus. And as he, she leaves her family home, the brothers bless her. Our sister, may you become the mother of thousands, of tens of thousands, and may your descendants possess the gates of those who hate them, praise God. So she's been now given a, a mandate. She's been engrafted into the promise, praise the name of Jesus, of God. Abraham was the one that received the promise first as the man of God explained, praise the name of Jesus. I like when God goes ahead of me, praise the name of the Lord. Abraham received the promise first. And, and the funny thing is when it got a bit difficult, Abraham sought solution in Elysia, Eli, El, Eliezer, his servant, he's, 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 the promise was there. The Bible says that he dwelt in the land for 10 years and he was still allowing Sarah to question the promise. He was already in the promised land. So part of the promise was already fulfilled. I don't know how many of you can, um, you know, relate to that. You're already in the promise of God. God has kept you. Praise God. God has provided for you. And still questions arise, still questions arise, because you know there's more to come. And I'm here tonight, if I can inject that extra bit of faith into any one of us tonight, then to God be the glory. Praise God. So Abraham is with his wife, Sarah, and they're saying, okay, so God has promised us a land, praise God, to, we're going to take possession of it, we're going to move into a land, it's going to be fruitful, praise God, and, and we're going to have a nation following after us, a nation of faith. But how are we going to have a nation of faith, praise God, when we have no children? Bless the name of the Lord. But what does God do? What does God do? God says to us, wait on the promise, because the promises of God are sure. The promises of God are sure. I just want to encourage someone right there. The promises of God are sure. They are yes and amen in Christ Jesus. And so his first option when you depend on yourself, he looked to his servant, his inheritance, everything will go to his servant. Then the wife shows up, <laughs> Sarah, not the wife, Sarah. And she says, well, take my maidservant, Hagar. And so that's a second solution. And then they fall into a place where, you know, we can't, we can't go anywhere else but to God. 
And tonight, I just want to encourage us. Our first port of call should be God. Our first port of call should be God. And so we go on to Isaac. Isaac is born. The promise is born. And you will notice of the three patriarchs, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the only name that wasn't changed was Isaac. Because when God speaks a thing, so it is. Amen. The only name that wasn't changed, Abraham became Abraham. Isaac remained Isaac. And Jacob was changed. To, his name was changed to Israel. OK, everyone has process. OK, so Rebecca, his wife, is there now. And we go over to cha um, Genesis chapter 25. And this is where I really want to take up the story and encourage us. Praise God. This is the genealogy, and this is Genesis 25 from verse 19, and I'll just read, praise God. This is the genealogy of Isaac, Abraham's son. Abraham begot Isaac. Isaac was 40 years old when he took Rebekah as wife, the daughter of Bethuel, the Syrian of Padan Aram, the sister of Laban, the Syrian. Now, Isaac pleaded with the Lord. For his wife. Isaac pleaded with the Lord for his wife because she was barren. Praise God. And the Lord granted his plea. Isaac had a relationship with God. Isaac's first port of call, praise God, was God, is God. And so it goes on to say, and Rebecca, his wife, conceived. Bless the name of the Lord. The man of God prayed. His wife conceived. Praise the name of Jesus. But the children struggled together within her. And she said, if all is well, why am I like this? And I want to stop right there. I could go on, but the next section is another message in itself. When you have two nations struggling within you, me, God, me or God, what well, two nations struggling. But I want to come back to Rebecca's question. If all is well, why am I like this? Praise God. And it's a question. I think if you Googled why would be one of the top three questions, if you Googled it, maybe if you Googled. But why in times like this, why is a very, very common question. And it's a question which has crept into Christendom. Praise God. If all is well, as people of God, as children of God, we walk around and we say, it is well. It is well. But Rebecca, praise God, said, obviously she had that affirmation in her spirit. She had heard from God. She's seen that the man of God prayed and she conceived. So she knew the, the, that God heard the prayers of that house. But if all is well, praise the name of Jesus, why am I like this? It's a common question. It's an in interesting question. It's a frustrating, uh, a question born out of frustration, a question born out of maybe you don't understand what's happening in this season. Maybe there's some form of, you know, um, uncertainty, but oftentimes when you say what, or when you say where, okay, it's different as to when you say why. Because when you say why has something happened, you, you've already seen, there's an implication there that you've already seen the manifestation of something going wrong. But yet she said, if all is well, Praise the name of Jesus. Why? Why am I like this? Oh God. And we look, I look, I looked at the woman, the um the 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 Shunammite woman, praise God. Um, and she was given a child. And it was almost to say, God, I never asked you for this. And now this has happened. Why? But she ran, she didn't ask why, she just ran, she ran, she ran to God, she ran to God. She ran to God. I really want to encourage someone today. Run to God. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Run to God. Praise God. Why? Why? It's a big question. Why, God? 
But as she ran to the man of God, his assistant, his servant, praise God, stopped her and said, is everything okay? Is all well? And she said, it is well and continued to run. And so many times I've heard it, I've heard it preached, I've heard it ministered, okay, it is well, because she had this, this, this confidence in herself. But, you know, there were times where I used the same question, why? And I realized that there are some people that come around you and you can't, you just need to declare it is well. You need to, you don't even want them to give you a word of advice. You don't even want them to give you a word of advice because you just need God. And so she didn't have time to stop at Gehazi. She just said, listen, it is well. And she went on her way to the man of God. Praise the name of Jesus. I want to encourage us today to run to God, run to God, because you see, the Bible says that Rebecca, the children struggled with her. And she said, if all is well, God, you see, I've been grafted into this promise. The man of God's prayed. I have conceived. It, it seems all on track, but what's this going on now? Praise God. So she went to inquire of the Lord. She didn't go on YouTube. Well, she couldn't have gone on YouTube, but so many times we have the question, why? And we go on YouTube and we're scrolling and we're looking for a prophetic word. And, and you know, some of us may have lifted our eyebrows when the lady spoke earlier. But as she lifted, I said, lady, you're in my message. You're in my message. There are so many people, um, praise the name of Jesus. There are so many people that run to YouTube for an answer. They run to the prophet for an answer. They run, they run everywhere for an answer. And their last port of call is to inquire from the Lord. But today God is telling us, inquire from me. I wanna hear from you. I wanna hear your questions. I don't mind if you keep coming. Praise the name of Jesus. If all is well, bless the name of the Lord. She said, if all is well, why am, I going, why, why am I like this? What's going on? If all is well with my children, you said, God, that if I serve you, my children, and the children are playing up now, there's, there's so much happening on the streets now. If all is well, what's going on, God? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? We need to inquire of the Lord. But you know what? I want to declare to us today that all is well. All is well, because the word of God says in the book of Isaiah, chapter three, say unto the righteous, all is well. Say unto the righteous, all is well. Praise God. And so the, the, the pain, the, the process is nothing but everyone has to go through a process, but the enemy tries to distract us on that process. The enemy tries to distract us. And so the enemy will bring Ishmael's into our life. The enemy will bring um, all sorts of, of fake news into our life. You need to be like the Shunammite woman and just, it is well. You know, one of the things that at work, I think I've shared this before, but not on this platform, at work, praise God, for during um, Christmas time, they were doing, they were planning a game and the game was, let's have buzzwords, let's have buzzwords. Who says what in the office and we have to guess who it is. And everyone started laughing at once and they all said, okay, if you speak to Mel, you could speak to her for an hour. You could tell her your problems for an hour. And at the end of it, she's gonna say, and everyone said in unison, it is well. Why? Because it is well. It is well with my soul. Praise God. It may not look like it. Praise the name of Jesus. When Ahab, when Ahab was told, go eat and drink. Praise the name of Jesus. Elijah said, go, have a feast, because the famine is ending, rain is coming. What, what did he send the servant boy out to look for? He sent the servant boy out to look for a cloud. And so many of us want the rain, but we don't want the cloud. We want the silver lining, but we don't want the cloud. But the rain is in the cloud. The rain is in the cloud. Praise the name of Jesus. It is well with us, brethren. It is well. When you keep your eyes on God, it can only be well. Bless the name of Jesus. The crowd, the cloud, the cloud was there. He said to the young man, he said to the servant boy, go out and look. And the servant boy looked, but he didn't see the rain because he wasn't looking for the cloud. He just wanted the rain. 
And so many times we just want the rain, shower the blessing, but we don't want the process. But the rain is coming. Yes, I see it there. The rain is in the cloud. The rain is coming. You need to continue to declare over your life. It is well. My children may be running right, but it is well. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Some of us want to minister the wrong thing even to our children. We need to be ministering salvation. It doesn't matter if they get the big job, the big car, the big house. We need to be ministering to their soul. For the word of God tells us, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? You see, when she said, you said it is well with me. So what's going on? And she needed an adjustment in her spirit. And many of us need an adjustment. Praise God. If I even touch the, 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 the message of the two nations within Rebecca's womb, praise God, where we grow what we have conceived. OK, there were two nations fighting and so many of us, there were two nations within us fighting. There were two natures within us fighting. And we are we feeding the right nature? Which one is going to come out serving the other? Is the flesh going to serve the spirit or is the spirit going to serve the flesh? Because when the spirit, praise God, when the spirit overrides the flesh, no matter what storm cloud, praise the name of Jesus, hallelujah, you will declare it is well. The Bible says, let there be famine in the land, because even in famine shall the righteous be fed. Come on now, bless the name of Jesus. Elijah says to Ahab, go quickly, okay, lest the rain stop you in the valley. Because you see, if your spirit and your flesh isn't adjusted, isn't in alignment, praise God, you won't understand that the rain in the valley is a blessing. Mm. You won't understand it. You won't understand. You see, the reason why he told him to go before the rain stops him, because he, he was going to go through a valley area, praise the name of Jesus. And you know what happens in a valley when the rain falls? Unless you can swim, huh? Hallelujah. Praise God. Sometimes we're in our valley. Praise the name of Jesus. And there is rain in our valley. The Bible says he is the lily of the valley. Praise God. Lilies don't grow in valleys, but Jesus is in our valley. Praise God. Jesus is in our valley. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He's the bright and morning star. How many times have you looked out into the daylight and seen a star? Praise God. But Jesus is our bright and morning star. He's the fairest of 10,000. You try looking at Wembley Arena and see if you can identify anyone you know. Because, But Jesus is there. He stands out. That's what the songwriter is saying. When you least expect him to be there, he's there. Praise God. Everybody ought to know who Jesus is. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. He's the lily of the valley. Praise God. And so Elijah said, go. Because you see, they just had that victory at Mount Carmel. And he thought this man's heart would receive that God Almighty is exactly that God Almighty. You've seen the demonstration of God. So go. Eat, believe. We know where Ahab went. He went straight into the arms of Jezebel, his wife. But that's what Ahab was saying. Eat, because there's rain coming. So the servant came back and the servant said, I don't see anything. And this is the problem. This is the problem with us as children of God. Come on, believers. How many times do you need to go out? How many times do you need to be sent? Praise God to understand that God is doing something. God is doing something even now in COVID-19, believe it or not, God is moving. God is moving. Now I'm gonna, uh, praise God. God is releasing mantles in this season, brethren. God is releasing mantles. We need to do what we are doing while it is day. We need to be doing the work of the Father. We need to be declaring it is well. Sometimes when you don't even, I mean, Okay, Zoom is a good thing, but it's, it's, it's caused a lot of people to become lazy. And I'm telling you, brethren, we need to wake up ourselves. Wake up, Zion. Trim your lamp. Trim your lamp. Some of us are, I'm not even going to go into, just get dressed. Get dressed. Come on, Zion, wake up. 
get dressed for the Lord is coming back. We need to be ready. We need to be ready. And so the woman of God declares, if it is well, why am I like this? And the Lord sent me straight to that scripture in Isaiah chapter three. I'm not going to be long. Isaiah chapter three. And it sounded like the script had been written in 2021. Praise God. The woman of God said it earlier. I decree and declare. Praise God. We're entering perilous times. Second Timothy tells us times where men shall be lovers of themselves. Selfish gain. But the rain is coming. The rain is coming. Isaiah 3, 10, it says, for behold, the Lord, the Lord of hosts, praise God, takes away from Jerusalem and from Judah, the stock and the store. We can see it happening now. We can see a breakdown in the economy happening now. Praise God. The whole supply of bread and the supply of water. God is cutting it off. The mighty man and the man of war, the judge, the prophet, the diviner, the elder, everyone in one bowl. Praise God. The captain of 50 and the honorable men. These are leaders of the armies. Praise God. The counselor, the skillful artisan, the expert enchanter. I will give children to be their princes. God is raising up a generation that will seek him. God is raising up out of the mouths of babes and sucklings. The word said, I have ordained strength. But we're looking at their age and we're thinking, oh, okay, you're just a child, you know. But God is raising up voices in the earth. We need to be speaking what the word of God tells us. And if you're not hearing from God, stay in the word of God. Because the word of God, we have prophets that are saying stuff, praise the name of Jesus that is not in accordance to the word of God. And you're still wondering, is it a word from God? The Holy Spirit, I say it all the time, the Holy Spirit will not contradict the word of God. The Holy Spirit works with the word of God. Praise God. And so we need the word in us in order for us to say it is well and really believe it. So the word of God goes on to say, the people will be oppressed, everyone by another and everyone his neighbor. The child will be insolent toward the elder. We have children raising up now and they've got no manners. I'm just being real. They've got no manners. I'm trying to get so real. It's unbelievable. But, you know, I'm taking my time. The children are raising up now and they're just, you know, just not as respectful as they used to be. And this is what's happening in this time. Praise God. When a man takes hold of his brother in the house of his father saying, have you got clothes? You can be our ruler. That's happening now. If you wear a nice suit, you're a pastor. If you wear a nicer suit, you can become a bishop. And if you know how to drip in yeah, that yeah, suit, yeah. walk in that suit. Yeah. If you know how to walk and dip and in that suit, worse be it if you've got a nice car. Yeah. You're a bishop to thousands and I'm not tearing anyone down. I'm saying God is not blind to the folly in the earth, but God is saying to the righteous, it is well. Don't let these things cause us to stumble. God is saying to those that have the word of God inside of them, it is well. God is saying to those that are obedient to the word of God, it is well. Praise the name of Jesus. And so it goes on to say, and I'm, I'm not going to be long here. It goes on to say, in the house of his father saying, you have clothing, you be our ruler. And let these ruins be under your power. In that day, he will protest saying, I cannot cure your ills. For in my house is neither food nor clothing. Do not make me a ruler of the people. Praise God. For Jerusalem stumbled and Judah is fallen because their tongue and their doings. How many of you know that your tongue can ruin you? You know, I was saying this afternoon that initially the word that I was coming with is what altar have you built with your tongue? Is it an altar unto God or an altar unto this world? 
what altar are you building with your tongue, with your mouth? Because God is recording every word. You may say it offline, but it's online for God. Because our God never sleeps. He never slumbers. He hears every word. He knows everything we do. Praise the name of Jesus. So what altar are you building? It says in the word of God, because of their tongue and their doings. They provoke the Lord. They provoke the Lord. And it goes on and it goes on and it goes on. But then in verse 10, it says, say to the righteous that it shall be well with them. And so I declare the blessing on those of us that are really wanting to seek God. The Bible says in Galatians 6, 7, be not mocked, be not deceived. God is not mocked. They that sow to the spirit, praise God, shall reap thereof. But they that sow to the flesh, mm, they that sow to the flesh. If you haven't started sowing, I would tell you to sow. Begin to sow to the spirit, saints. Begin to sow to the spirit of God. Begin to give time to God. Begin to invest time in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I don't know how much time I've got, Pastor McKibbit. You need to tell me what time, praise God. But I'm almost through. Just go by the spirit, my sister. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Bless the name of Jesus. And so it says, say to the righteous that it shall be well with them. For they that for they shall eat the fruit of their doings. Praise God. They shall eat the fruit of their doings. Come on. What are we sowing? Because that's the fruit we're going to eat. What are we sowing in this season? Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. But woe unto the wicked, for it shall be ill with them. But I, that's another message because I'm here to inject faith. I'm here to, to I want to speak faith. When I woke up this morning, the Lord said, speak faith, speak faith and deliverance, speak healing. Praise God. Hallelujah. There shall be healing for the righteous. Bless the name of the Lord. And I just want to say that, Lord. Hallelujah. I'll go back to. Elijah, the servant went out and he saw nothing and he came back and the man of God put his head between his knees and some of us need to be putting our head between our knees. Some of us need to be getting low before God because the deeper you go before God, the higher he takes you. The more you see, the more he will reveal. God is revealing stuff to his people. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God is revealing to his people. Because he's not going to place a mantle on you and not give you a revelation, praise God, of who he is. He's not going to place a mantle on you and not give you a revelation of how to go about it. It shall be well with the righteous. It shall be well with you. In the name of Jesus, it shall be well with you. In this season, so much is going on, but I just want us to declare it shall be well. It is well with me. It is well. You know, the book of um, John 9 tells us about the young man. I don't know why God is just bringing this to my spirit. The book of John, chapter 9, it speaks about the young man who met Jesus. Well, as Jesus was passing by, I'm paraphrasing because I haven't got the scripture on it. As Jesus was passing by, praise God, he put mud, clay, spittle upon the blind man's eyes. Praise the name of Jesus. And then he sent him to the pool called Siloam. Siloam being sent. Many of us are wandering around with mess in our eyes. But Jesus sent him to the pool. And his obedience, his obedience caused him to see. God wants many of us to just be obedient. And our eyes will be open. And then we can declare it as well. But we get flustered, we get lost, we get, we get, we, you know, we just wander around like headless chicken sometimes. And we say it is well, and we really don't believe it within our spirit. But today, brethren, I want us to really believe it as we declare it is well over our life. It is well over our homes. It is well with our children. It is well, it is well. We need to believe it. 
For blessed are they that believe, having yet not seen, says the Lord. And so we just need to believe it is well. And don't be scared, praise God, hallelujah. Don't be scared, praise the name of the Lord, to ask God why. Habakkuk sat on the ramp, rampart, praise God, and he saw the mess going on in the world and he saw the turmoil and he saw everything that was going on. And what did he do? He said, God, are you not God? What's going on? And God just said to him, just wait. And so Habakkuk said, okay, I will stand my watch. And he went back to his watch. Many of us need to be stationed at our watch. Just remain stationed. Don't be distracted. It is well. It is well with the righteous. Tell the righteous it is well with them. And so that's my message this evening. I want to say God bless you. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to say a big God bless you. I know it sounds more like a warning than a comfort, but it is well with the righteous. That's just the way it is. And so if you don't know where you are with God right now, praise the name of the Lord. I would say get into the word of God. Spend time with God. Set aside time. Hallelujah. Let the Holy Spirit minister to you. The word of God. Join yourself with other worshipers, other people of God, until you feel that affirmation in your spirit. Because we all know when we're on track and off track. But the word of the Lord tonight is, it is well with the righteous. Hallelujah. Praise God. It is well. God bless you. Bless you, my Praise God. Hallelujah. It is well. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you so much. Powerful. I don't know what you're going through. What the problems you're facing, but it is well. as as Mel was speaking, that old that old Afro American song kept coming to my mind. I've got a feeling everything is going to be all right. I've <laughs> got a feeling you may you may have sickness in your body. Your marriage may be in a mess. You may have immigration problems. You may have financial problems. It is well. But, but it is well. It is everything well. It is, is well. Be all right. Because He's going to be all right. Wrong. Yes. Who Amen. Can be against us. Hallelujah. Mm. It's all going to be all right. It is well. It is well. It is well. It is well. The devil says you're defeated, but he's mm. a liar. It Amen. Is yes. well with my son. Mm -hmm. What no matter what the devil says, we are more than conquerors. Than conquerors, yeah. That, loves that lovely you. Lord. Amen. Amen. I'm not Amen. gonna I'm not gonna try to summarize the message because. If I do, I get into preaching mode, and I'll be here for another. I'll be in, never. It's always dangerous when the preacher starts to summarise, because then he gets into it. Then he starts preaching another, another message. Praise God! Yeah, yeah, praise God! Couple of things Amen. I just want to say. Listen, get all don't. It's, I believe in prophets. We've got prophets here. We've got prophetess in the meeting here today. But we always make sure that what anybody says to you, even me, even Amen. me, and I Amen. try to handle the word of God with integrity, but yes, I'm not Lord. perfect. And, I, and I'm still learning. But mm. when, even what I say or any prophet says to you, make sure it is in line with the word the of scripture. God. Don't just look at the verse they give you. Look at the context of the chapter, the context of the book in context with the whole of the Bible. Don't Amen. go by some prophet. In fact, I would say, stop running around looking for prophets. Go by mm. the word of God. If God mm. wants to send you a prophet, let him do so, but don't go looking for one. Amen. I get people with their phone, every time they've got a dream, they want the interpretation. You go to six different prophets, you'll get six different interpretations, interpretations yes. for the same dream. Mm -hmm. 
So don't go around. Stay with the word of God and it is well. And I was just thinking to myself, Mel start, Minister Mel started off by saying that she's not a preacher. Well, if she's not a preacher, I don't know what she'd been doing because that was... <laughs> and if that, if that is what she's doing when she's not a preacher, I'm just imagine what we're about. When she will be a preacher. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Amen. That was, powerful, that was a powerful word. That was a powerful word. It is well. Thank, God. It Thank is you well. so much. Thank you so much. We, we give Mel thanks, but we thank God. But we also thank the Holy Spirit who was using her. We thank Amen. God that was using her. Because without him, we are useless. Mm. All the glory and honor. We thank God for his servant. And we thank God right now. Praise God. Can we all just praise God? Hallelujah. 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 From God, Jesus died for you at Calvary. He is the way, the truth, the life, the door. If you believe in him, you shall be saved. Cause God's free gift to you is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord.